Hey everyone, I'm Liz Merrick and today we're going to be making ermine frosting. Ermine frosting is an old fashioned type of frosting that is actually made by cooking flour and sugar and then whipping it into your butter. It is the traditional frosting typically served with red velvet cake and is so yummy. Flour is actually raw and is not safe to eat without heating and actually has a really gross flavor if you eat it raw. So heating it up and cooking it is actually a super important part of using flour in any recipe, whether you're making gravy or a roux, always gotta heat the flour. And you wanna keep whisking continuously so that it doesn't burn. Burnt milk is not very good to eat. When it's ready, it's gonna be really thick like a gravy. And we're just gonna pour this into a bowl and have the plastic wrap touch so that you don't get a weird skin on top of it as it cools. Now we're gonna start adding in our flour mixture, one spoonful at a time as it's whipping. Ermine buttercream is actually very similar to Swiss meringue buttercream in that it's not very sweet, it's very smooth, and if you've ever had a ding dong, that filling on the inside, that's ermine buttercream. <laughs> And then once it's done whipping, you can switch to the paddle attachment and mix on low for about 10 minutes to just get out all the air. Typically there's about a quarter inch of buttercream between each layer. So I'm just putting on a thin layer of buttercream. This is called the crumb coat because it seals in all of the crumbs. So your final coat of buttercream is nice and smooth. I'm going to finish this cake with some of our buttercream and a 1M piping tip. I love doing simple rosettes for a cake because you don't really need any skills and even if they're a little bit messy, it still looks really pretty. 